On today's episode, I'm going to show you how to set up a budget in less than five minutes. It's Money Making Monday. I'm Sam GSK, an investor, entrepreneur, and real estate redeveloper, and this is the Wealth Elevation Show. So in order to make and track a budget as painlessly as possible, we're going to use some leverage. So the leverage is technology that we have available today, and the app is called Mint.com. In five minutes or less, you can have all your accounts in one place. Mint automatically updates your accounts every 24 hours, giving you a simple balance of your credits and debits, your income and your expenses, and then it helps you set a budget based on your actual spending, and you can also create a budget of your own. So by tracking your spending, you can find places where you can cut back, and also set realistic goals so you can be on track in no time. It also has alerts where it will email you alerts. Um, it can be anything from a payment that is over a certain amount or give you an alert when your account goes down to a certain amount. And it also can alert you of fees or irregular activity going on in your accounts. The single greatest key to financial freedom is the habits. You need to create habits that will launch you into a financial abundant lifestyle. So the number one habit I'm going to teach you today, and I think I've mentioned it before, is a concept called pay yourself first. You need to have the app tracking your expenses, but you also need to add another expense into your account. And this is the first expense every time you get paid, and it's going to be called your financial freedom account. So what you want to do is pick an amount starting between either three and 30% of your income depending on where you are and you want every single paycheck every single profit check that you get to divide into multiple accounts and the first account it will go into is your financial freedom account and this is an expense that you pay to yourself so when you have bills this is one of your bills you will use this capital later on in the future for purchasing a house and also investing if you never start saving from the beginning you can never start investing and we want to get away from the I can't afford that or I don't have that capital and ask yourself how can I afford that and the way you're going to be able to afford that is by creating habits from the start that enable you and empower you to be able to invest and be able to uh, take your career and your lifestyle to the next level